getting back. It's gonna be on video. <laughs> so let's do this. So we'll get me in there, okay? We'll get Bobby. We're gonna go back and forth through some on the ground, we'll some on stand up, some kick, some. Yeah, you know I mean. One minute. Let's go rounds. Mm -hmm. This is our last day. The road kid in here has been uh, unbelievable camp for Steve. He's locked in. I, I, I think he's faster and stronger than he was. I mean, now, but it blows my mind. Okay, when I come, let's go uppercut here. Ish, 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 ish. DC's been around forever. He's fought everyone. He's, he's a champion uh, on a variety of different levels, and we respect that. We respect every opponent we get in with. Uh, that being said, I don't think anything Daniel Cormier is going to bring to the table is even going to slow Stipe down. Nice job, dude. Hell yeah. Did you get the shovel? The shovel, that's your that's fucking, that's your mojo right there. Do you check this out? I'll show you this. Which is a, um, a corn. A corn? You know, they put the shit site, what's it called? Uh, oh, I can't even remember right now. Start from this. Oh. <laughs> I found something. What's this? It's a garage. And it's got electric in it, too. Right here, Rick. Gold. I hope we find something. This thing or it could have been right there. Oh! Get it's there. You hear it? Found something. What if it was a car? We split it. No, no, no. 80-20. Oh, it's there. You don't have a better fucking shovel. No, dude. Alright. Ah. I mean, there's nothing. Fuck it. Just dig it back. I won't get in trouble. I'll cover it back up. <laughs> no. I'm gonna get better at this thing. Oh, Rick, I think we got something. No, I'm kind of just doing it on my own. Oh, yeah. Well, you would be able to. Things go fast, man. These fights come up on you in no time. Just gotta make sure you're prepared and ready to go. Tough fight, but I think I'll be fine. Come here, baby. <laughs> Dad's about to go. Okay. Okay. It's fight week, about six days out. It's that time for us to have some fun. There you go, Rook. We're just ready to go make some history, man. It's gonna be a tough one. I know this man doesn't want to give up what he has and it's not gonna be easy, but we bite down on our mouthpiece, man. We embrace the grind and we come home with what we work for. And I think we're gonna have it, man, come Saturday night, July 7th. Remember all that shit we've done on Embedded? We've done a lot of shit on Embedded. Like, we had that Frank thing on the airplane where the air marshals came up and almost took us out of the air. Almost had the emergency landings because Frank went crazy. Second one, we had that boxing match between the two coaches. Third, Steven Seagal. Beat the shit out of Luke Rocco and Chris Camacho. <laughs> Almost got in a fight with Jones in the hallway. Yeah, that was, that was good. And we've had some things happen on Embedded. <laughs> we've had a long road on this Embedded. Let's go, boys. Boys, here we go. Two, three. Two, three. What's up? What are you doing? What are you doing? I told the camera guy you're gonna make us all work right now. You're gonna make us all hacer trabajar. You still fit. <laughs> still. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Um, <laughs> you need to catch the real stuff. Mom, come say hi. Yeah. If I cuss, she gets mad. Come say hi. You say what? What do you say? I said shit. <laughs> My dad was always creative though, no matter as a kid. My dad made this one when we were younger. And what he did is he made us like our own little, I can't even still fit in here, watch. You come in here, and it has levels. And then you have another level. Boom. Now you can look at everyone, all the neighbors, see what they're doing. And then if you're sneaky like me, you make a secret entrance, it blends in. And then you're on the roof. Then you see everything over here. Then I can jump from my roof to that roof and I can make my way around the entire neighborhood. I think that's where I got it from. He turned nothing into something. You see three tables and some wood and then people think, ah, nothing. He turned it into a freaking little playground for us. You excited about this fight, upcoming fight? Yes, I'm just happy to get my fight and then try to handle my business. You always look my but you never look like that. Why? <laughs> I never look like that. Why? Well, grow your hair out and then we we'll grow your hair out. And then people won't tell us apart. They'll be like, wait, Megan or Francis? <laughs> Freedom. You're looking good. Good to see you, man. Fashion man, look at you. This is strong. A little bit. Damn. So today we just check in some media, the photo shoot with the with Big Mike over here. And then give me a badass look. Mean. Chin up a little bit, even higher. I feel very confident, very good about it. He's very exciting fighter, but I think I got his number. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> there you go. And we built a glove wall for like a backdrop, Hall of Fame. We got over 300 gloves on there. The 25 year logo. Boss Logic, my man. He be always taking care of me. Look at this shit. I told him go crazy. I told him go crazy. Man, when you got a guy like that doing his thing, you know, he don't tell me how to throw a punch. I'm not gonna tell him how to do his drawings. He knows how to do it. Oh, Max. Hey, son. how you doing, bro? Hey, bro. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Oh, bro. I just, I, that's fucking dope, bro. The Drake song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was just telling all my girlfriend guys of all time. I was like, bro, that's fucking big time, yeah. bro. That's sick, bro. Hawaiian take over. So we get for the Hawaiians. We here. Let's go. <laughs> Everybody keep asking me if Drake, if Drake dropped my name in, uh, in 8 out of 10 in his new Scorpion album. And the reply is, 